Renewable energy, a short overview. What is renewable energy? Energy derived from natural processes that are replenished at a faster rate than they are consumed. Solar, wind, geothermal, hydro and biomass are commonly considered sources of renewable energy. Before the discovery of oil and coal deposits, most of the energy we used was renewable. We burned what would today be known as biomass. We used cattle to driving ploughs or turn millstones or wind for sailing. But why do we need renewable energy sources today? One reason is energy security. Being dependent on other countries for energy supply is problematic. One does not have control about prices and if supply is cut off, disaster could strike. The most immediate problem is climate change and the carbon emissions that are forcing it coming from burning fossil fuels. Oil, gas and coal are dirty and harm the environment. In contrast, energy produced from renewable sources is often cheaper than that produced by non-renewable means and it is creating jobs. Oil, gas and coal have high levels of pollution that are pumped into local environments and cause health problems. What types of renewable energy do we know? Hydropower. Most hydropower comes from the potential energy of dammed water, driving a water turbine and generator. Run of the river hydropower stations are those with small or no reservoir capacity, so that only the water coming from upstream is available for the generation at that moment. Hydropower is cheap in operation as it requires no fuel. And it is clean. However, building a dam destroys an area of landscape and changes the ecology. Solar energy is another type of renewable energy. There are two basic types of solar energy. Using photovoltaic means that solar cells convert the light of the sun into electrical energy. Solar heating means a solar thermal collector collects heat by absorbing sunlight. Hot water can then be used for tap water and for heating. The annual potential of solar energy is several times larger than the total world energy consumption. Solar power is very flexible and can be installed at roofs not taking other space. It is noise free and often already competitive. However, less or no solar energy is produced during nights or dark winters. It needs mostly to be combined with other sources of energy to ensure reliable supply. Wind power is a use of air flow through the wind turbines to power generators for electricity. Wind mills can be placed onshore but also offshore where wind is steadier and stronger than on land but construction, construction and maintenance costs are considerably higher. Wind power is plentiful, widely distributed and clean. However, wind power gives variable power, which is quite consistent from year to year, but which has significant variation over shorter time. It is therefore used in conjunction with other electrical power sources to give a reliable supply. As a proportion of wind power in a region increases, one might need to upgrade the grid. Some might also think that too many windmills conflict with the beauty of nature. Heat pumps and geothermal power. Heat pumps do not produce heat. They collect heat from the air, water or ground outside your home and concentrate it for use inside. This is done by a compressor and a circulating refrigerant. The pump needs electricity to run, but the idea is that it uses less electrical energy than the heat it produces. Heat pumps can use any ambient heat. This makes them very flexible. However, the effectiveness vary and if the electricity used for the pump is dirty, the environmental benefits might be limited. In contrast, 
Geothermal power uses energy from the original formation of the planet and from radioactive decay of materials. The major disadvantage is that for the most efficient and economic use, it is geographically limited. The best use is from areas close to tectonic plate boundaries and areas of high volcanic activity. Last but not least, biomass. Biomass is organic material that comes from plants and animals. Plants absorb the sun's energy in a process called photosynthesis. When biomass is burned, the chemical energy in biomass is released again. The same amount of the greenhouse gas CO2, which plants have stored when growing, will be released. However, if biomass is replacing fossil fuels and is produced sustainably, it contributes to mitigate climate change. Biomass is a very flexible source of energy, which can be used for heating, electricity generation and transport fuels. However, biomass production is not necessarily environmentally friendly nor sustainable and it is limited in terms of land use. Biomass energy use conflict also with other forms of the use of biomass, for example for food or building material.